for it better, this antique couch or me. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are trying a brand new clothing line that is actually sold by Amazon. Yes, you heard it right. Amazon has a clothing line that is sold on Amazon. Now, I was so shook when I found out about this, so I'm sure you guys are pretty shocked as well. Um, I honestly just did not see this coming, to be honest. I actually found out about this by seeing a Patricia Bright do a video on it, and I was just like, girl, I need to try this for myself. I need to see if there's any cute things on Amazon. So today, we have a little, well, quite a big try-on haul from Amazon. I actually got two Jiffy bags and a box as well, so you best know that we are gonna be trying on a lot of clothes today. I've gotta say, when I went on the website, I was kind of like a little bit underwhelmed. Um, I thought that there would be a lot of like cute things and instantly I would see things that I liked, but the reality of it was that I actually was just scrolling through for ages and I just couldn't find anything. Everything on the website kind of looked like granny clothes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just being real with you. It just really wasn't my style. However, I did manage to find some things that were kind of like, mm, maybe, maybe on a, like a dark night I would wear this <laughs> when no one can see me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I actually did find some pretty good bits. Um, some I like better than others, but we'll just crack into it and see what this Amazon clothing looks like. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Don't forget to subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family. We are so close to 3.5 million. What in the world? What in the world is going on? So I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you guys what the brand is actually called. So on the website, it's just called Find with a full stop, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't remember how much I spent. I will put it on screen somewhere right now. I think I spent a little bit too much, to be honest. From what I remember, the prices were kind of reasonable. I guess they were kind of like top shop, high street sort of prices. So let's just crack on into the first item. So this is what the branding looks like. It's just called Find with a full stop and the packaging seems pretty all right. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so the first thing is a t-shirt dress but it's actually like made from a crushed velvet sort of fabric, which is really cool. I love the color. It's kind of like a champagne nude sort of color. This shirt literally looks like my highlight. It's matching so hard. I think I'm actually gonna quite like this. I mean, I don't usually wear velvet at all, but when I saw this, I was like, this is kind of cute. I'm gonna give it a try. So let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the first item. I am actually really liking this dress. I think it's really cute. I feel good in it. It's very airy. It's very like floaty. There's a lot of space which is definitely really really good especially if you have that food belly after a meal if you know what I mean the one thing that I don't really understand about it is why the front is a little bit shorter than the back like there's not even a gradual like do you know what I mean? There's nothing gradual about it. It's just like duh, duh. And it's just kind of weird in my opinion. However, it's not the end of the world, but it's just not really my kind of cup of tea. I wish it was just all the same length. I absolutely love the feel of this dress. I think it's really nice and soft. It's very stretchy as well. And it's just very light. Like I feel really free in this dress. I think the color is absolutely genius. It just looks like my highlight on my cheek in a dress, so what's not to like about that? Ooh, we have another nude item, which is right here. I'm pretty sure this is like a sweatshirt. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this. Okay, so this is a plain, pretty much plain oversized sweatshirt. It's very, very me. It's very nude. I love this sort of color. But the thing that sets it apart from other sweatshirts is the fact that this sleeve is quite like, loose and very low like this is where my shoulder will sit and then the sleeve starts like way down there so i think it will look very slouchy and very like cool it is kind of cropped it's not very long for an oversized sweatshirt so i don't know how this is exactly gonna fit me um I don't know, maybe I can like tuck it into some jeans. I've also picked up a pair of jeans which look like this and I think these will go really well with the sweatshirt I just showed you guys. And these are basically just like very simple mum style jeans. Now again, I don't usually wear jeans like this, but they looked quite cute on the model. So I thought I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna see how they fit at least. Quite like how high-waisted they are and they feel very like slim around the waist, which is a great sign because my waist is kind of small compared to like my hips. So I always struggle when it comes to jeans. So hopefully, maybe even with a little belt, this should fit me quite well. This is what the leg looks like. It's kind of straight, but I'm sure I can just kind of like roll it up to 
fit it a little bit better to my style. I love the color of these jeans. I think it's very like basic denim, which I really like the look of. So I'm excited to see how these will fit. So this is the next outfit. I am actually really, really pleasantly surprised. I didn't think this jumper would look as cute as it does. It's very simple, but I just really like how slouchy it looks. I've also tucked it into the jeans and I've got to say the jeans actually fit really, really well. I was a little bit skeptical because on the website, the jeans were like in sizes S, M and L. And I was just kind of like, that does not work with jeans. You have to do it by waist and length. But somehow it has worked. The length is actually pretty good. I'm gonna roll it up as well, see how that looks. P.S. Do you guys like my snuggly socks? I think they're really cute. I think with these sort of jeans, when you roll them up, they just always look way cuter. So I'm actually really liking these jeans. They don't really help me out with the butt department. They kind of make my butt look like a pancake, but just tell me it's not that bad, please. <laughs> I actually really like this. I think it's very casual, very slouchy. It's a little bit different from my regular skinny jeans. So I am digging this. So I'm gonna give this one a big thumbs up as well. Now the next item is a little a graphic tee moment. I love a good old graphic t-shirt and this one is so cute. It's basically like a nude t-shirt all over but then it's got like a female face on it. I really like it. It's very like Vogue, very fashion-esque. Is that even a word? It just reminds me of a very, very popular model, but I can't remember her name for the life of me. So if any of you know which one I'm on about, comment down below. But yeah, this is very slouchy, very casual. I can see myself wearing this every day. Well, not every day. I'd need to wash it, but you know what I mean. So I was really drawn to this. I thought it was quite cool. And I was actually quite surprised that Amazon would have something like this because it looks very top shop. So I'm gonna try this on with the same pair of jeans and see how it actually fits. Now this is the graphic t-shirt and what it looks like on. I'm actually really liking it. I love this nude color. It's like the perfect nude color. And I really like the image. I think it's very nice and not really too much to say about it, to be honest. This was 18 pounds, which I guess is kind of pricey for a t-shirt where it's just like very plain and not really too much going on. However, the quality I've got to say is actually really nice. The t-shirt feels very soft. The length of this t-shirt is quite long, so you could always like roll it up into a nice little bow and just kind of like style it however you like. Look how cute that looks. I love that. And I mean, you could always like tuck it into some jeans as well, which I think will also look quite cute. So yeah, overall, haven't got too much to say about it. I I actually really like this t-shirt, so I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up. Next up, we have another sweatshirt. This one is again velvet. I don't know why Amazon has a thing for velvet, but I'm gonna jump on that trend. I'm gonna see if I like it. Like I said, I don't usually wear velvet, so... You know, I'm gonna give it a shot. There's not really a particular reason why I don't wear stuff like this, but it's just very new to me, so... I really like the feel of it. First of all, I love the texture and it's very soft. The quality is definitely really nice as well. It seems very well finished and made and I really like the fact that the sleeve kind of has like a ruffled effect. I think that's very interesting. I also like the fact that this sweatshirt has a little bit of a high neck going on rather than like a crew neck. So I think that adds a lot to it. But yeah, I'm actually really excited to see how this will look on me. I love a bit of mustard, so let's try her on. Who wore it better, this antique couch or me? <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Okay, so when I'm looking into the mirror, I kind of like it. I think it looks very like different. You know, I look a little bit more like I'm trying to make a statement or something. But when I'm looking in the viewfinder of my camera, I'm kind of like, really Roxy, what are you doing? Okay, jokes aside, I think this is actually okay. It looks a little bit creased, but I guess that's just the nature of the fabric. It's not really meant to look very smooth or anything. I really like the ruffles on the sleeves. I think it looks very interesting. And I think if I was to wear it like this, it just looks very like wah, wah, wah. However, if I tuck it in and kind of style it a little bit, it definitely like looks a lot better in my opinion anyway. Like that looks kind of cute, no? I feel like with a nice like jacket to kind of tone it down and maybe like a nice vintage belt, this would look really, really put together. At the end of the day, this sweatshirt only cost me 11 pounds, which I actually feel like is a pretty good price considering the fabric is super soft and really nice quality and you can tell that it's not just gonna like fall apart after one use. So with that being said, I actually love a bit of mustard. I love a bit of like gold. It looks very like antique and vintage and I kind of like that. So I think again, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up, but let me know what you guys think as well. Now the next item is actually a very interesting dress. When I saw this on the model, I thought it looked really, really cool. So I just had to get it and try it for you guys. This is what it looks like. It's very like 
different. So it kind of sits like this. It's got like a really cool strap with this really interesting like silver circle on it. And it just goes straight down. It's quite bodycon, but not too much. Now the first defect that I see on this dress is actually two pieces of white string, which is kind of off-putting because it is a very black dress and to see like two stitches in white. So that's the first thing I noticed that's a little bit strange. However, it's not the end of the world. It's very small. Probably no one's even going to notice it. But this is what it looks like. I'm actually really interested to see how this will look on me. So let's just try it on. Okay, look who has just turned up. Amazon is in business. I'm just kidding. I actually really hate this dress. This is like the prime example. Ha, prime. Did you get that? <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm not. This is honestly the prime example of how something can look really great on one person and then it can just look so bad on another. In the picture, of the model, I thought this dress was gonna be bomb. Like, honestly, I was like, this is great. I love this little thing. I love this. But now that I'm wearing it, I literally just feel like I'm about 50 years old. I just think it's very old fashioned in my opinion. Please don't come for me if you like this. I just, I'm here to give you guys my honest opinion. I'm never gonna lie to you guys. So, I just don't like it. I've got to be honest. I don't like it one bit. I just don't know what it is. I thought it was very cool, like in the picture, but now that I'm wearing it, I just hate it on me. Anyway, I'm not saying that this wouldn't work for someone else, but for me personally, I just don't like this shape. I think it's very unflattering on my body type. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. Now the next item is another dress. I saw this and I kind of thought to myself, it's not really my usual style. However, I wanted to give it a shot and you guys know me. I love trying new styles. I love trying things that are a little bit out of my comfort zone. So this is the dress. It's very sheer at the top. Um, it's kind of got like this really cool lace detailing all on the sleeves and also on the very top. It's got a high neckline, which is kind of like a big ruffle. And then it goes all the way down. It's quite a long dress. It does have an opaque sort of bottom with the same netting that's kind of like polka dot. This is definitely an interesting and different dress for me. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about it, but let's just pop it on and see how it looks. Okay, either this is really high fashion and couture or... I look like someone just died and I'm going to a funeral. I can't quite tell which one it is exactly just yet. Um, initial thoughts? What do you guys think? I think that I quite like the top half. I think it's very like Victorian-y, really cool and different. Um, I actually really love the sleeves and like all the ruffles and stuff. However, the bottom half just kind of throws me off. It literally just looks like a long ass gown. Um, and I definitely do look like I'm going to a funeral with this length. Imagine this dress if it was about this length. I think that would be so much nicer, so much more flattering for everyone involved. But the reality of it is that it is literally down to my knee, which is so so long and especially if you're quite short this is literally gonna swallow you whole this dress right here was 30 pounds which i feel like is actually quite justified because there is a lot to it it is quite different and unique would i actually purchase this and wear it out probably not purely because of the length i do look like i'm going to a funeral however i do think it's still quite nice it fits well and the quality is definitely there so someone out there will definitely like this but personally i don't think it's for me i think it's a little bit much so i'm gonna give this one like a half up half down again and the very last item is another dress this one is definitely on like the other side of the spectrum to the previous one it's kind of like sporty i would say um this is what it looks like so it's quite high neck it's also got a long sleeve and it's basically just like a striped black and white dress all over it's quite baggy and oversized as well and it is quite long um so again this is kind of different for me i do like things that are high necks like this and have this sort of like ring zipper i have quite a few jumpers like it but i've never owned a dress like it so i'm actually really excited to see how this will look on me now this is the next dress i've got to say i did not even realize that when i picked this out of the box that this is not something that i ordered i only just checked how much this dress was and i was like wait a minute i didn't even order this so the one that i actually ordered is pretty much the same style like the cut of the dress is exactly the same however i did not order it in this pattern this is the photo of the one that i did order and as you can see the colors are very different however the cut and the style overall is the same i think i actually quite prefer this one so it's not that big of a deal my favorite part of it is the high neck and like the zipper i think that's really cool i did get this in a size small and it's very like baggy now i'm not sure if it's meant to be a bit more bodycon because it does have like a slight shape to it as you can see however frankly it looks 
looks like a sack of potatoes on me, <laughs> to be honest. It just looks very baggy around the edges. There's not really too much shape to it. And I guess that is kind of the style of the dress. However, on the model, it looked very much bodycon. So I feel like maybe the sizing wasn't perfect on this one. I think I'm probably gonna send this one back. But that's that, I guess. I think the dress is still really cute though. So those were all of the Amazon clothing items I'm gonna try on for you guys today. I mean, who knew? Who knew that Amazon could do clothing? I'm actually pretty impressed with most of the items. Some were a little bit better than others, like I said, but the main thing is that it's, you know, really cool that they're starting to kind of branch out into like beauty, fashion, that kind of world, because they're obviously such a successful company in all the other like areas. But I did I definitely quite like some of the pieces that I picked up. There's definitely a lot of like mishaps on the website. If you guys want to see for yourself, just go and check it out. But honestly, there's a lot of like granny clothes on there. I'm not gonna lie. However, there's always a gem in the midst of the dust. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. And also don't forget to subscribe. Come and join the dinosaur family. I would love to have you here. That is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!